Happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. I'm Deanna Saucetta, 25 minutes after the hour. Here are this morning's top stories. A Farmington police officer has quit after an alleged domestic violence incident involving his police officer girlfriend. The incident involving 46-year-old officer Mike Bresenio was the latest in a string of police brutality and misconduct allegations against him in recent years. State police did not file criminal charges against him in the February 6th incident because the woman officer did not want to submit a criminal complaint or be interviewed. An Albuquerque man who allegedly flooded his apartment to protest broken pipes appeared before a judge on Sunday. According to a criminal complaint, 41-year-old Jonathan Sutton turned on all his faucets and plugged the drains to flood his apartment once the water came back on. This happened Friday at the Skylight Tower Apartments on Wantabo. Managers say Sutton threatened to flood his apartment in retaliation for the broken water line. Now, as they worked to survey the damage, police say Sutton returned with a smile on his face smoking a cigar, apologizing for the damage. He was arrested and charged with criminal damage to property. The city is expected to address the pigeon poop problem this morning. Albuquerque City Councilor Brad Winter is sponsoring the Pigeon Nuisance Abatement Ordinance, which would make feeding and harboring pigeons illegal. He says the city's pigeon population has gotten out of hand. In fact, he says one neighborhood came under siege after some of the residents decided to feed the birds. If the bill passes, helping pigeons could cost you a $100 fine. Today is National Organ Donor Day in lieu of giving your loved ones something nice. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services encourages giving the ultimate gift of love by signing up to become an organ and tissue donor. Right now, a quick look at the weather. Here's Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Beautiful weather for this Valentine's Day. A few clouds moving in right now, so it will be a little cloudier today, but those will be moving out as we head through the overnight hours, and the sprinkles you see on the radar not making it to the ground, so it's going to be a dry forecast for today. Wind right now, or temperatures right now with the wind, feeling like it's in the teens up in the northern mountains, upper 30s for the metro, and in the low to mid-40s down the southeast. Expect a breezy day across the east at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, mainly out of the north, becoming southerly later on today. Highs today, a little cooler in the east, 62 in Roswell, 56 in Tucum, carry, but either way, very nice. Low 60s for the metro and in the middle and upper 50s for the northwest. And then tomorrow it gets even warmer, especially in the east. 70s for Tucumcari, near 80 for Roswell, 61 for the metro. And the nice weather sticks around through Wednesday with a chance for a few showers moving in Thursday and Friday and cooler weather moving in for Friday and into the weekend. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Thanks for joining us. For continuous news and weather updates,